In this video, I'll be talking about D latch and D flip flop. Now let's start with a D latch. A D latch basically takes in an input D, a clock, and output Q and Q naught. Okay. So D is what controls the output. There are two cases. When clock equals to one, Q is gonna be D. Like what I said earlier, D controls Q. When clock equals to zero, Q is gonna hold, which means it's gonna hold the value of the previous Q. So that is all you need to know for a D latch. Now let's look at this example right here. So how we draw this diagram is we look at the integral where clock equal to 1. So clock equals to 1 here, here, and here. So I'm just going to draw a red line here where clock equals to 1. So from here to here, clock equals to 1. So I'm just going to draw this, these red lines. And we're just going to look at this interval. Okay, so from here to here, I'm going to look from here to here. And I'm going to look from here to here. So... During these intervals, Q is going to hold the value of D because clock is 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the value of D during this interval. So I'm, this is going to be the exact same thing as D. During this interval, this is going to be the exact same thing as D. And here I'm just going to copy it as well. So for the rest of them, mean clock is 0. So when clock is 0, Q holds the value of the previous Q. So here, during this whole interval, it's just going to hold the value where you have right here. So from here to here, I'm just going to keep going. And once I hit this interval, I'm just going to connect. So from here to here, it's going to hold the value of whatever the value of Q here. So I'm just going to go all the way here and connect. And then from here, I'm just going to keep going. Now, in the beginning, we don't know the value of Q previous yet. So it's just going to be either 1 or 0. We don't know. So that is your D latch. Now, for D flip flop, it's going to be the same thing except. There's going to be a triangle sign like this, which indicates that this is a D flip-flop. Now we have a D flip-flop because sometimes we don't want the value of Q to change during this interval. But we want it to hold for the entire clock cycle. So this is a clock cycle, and I want the value of Q to be the same during this whole cycle. So a D flip-flop, we look at we look at clock where it changed from 0 to 1 so from here to here in this point clock changes from 0 to 1 right from here to here clocks changes from 0 to 1 from here to here 0 to 1 so instead of looking at this whole interval, I'm just going to look at the value of D at this point of time. So for a latch, I mean for this is a latch, this is the flip-flop. So for a flip-flop, I'm just going to look at this point, and I'm just going to copy the value of D at this point. So D is 1 here. Now at this point, D is 0. And at this point, D is 1. Then my value of Q is just going to hold for the, the whole interval from here to here. 
and then I'm just going to connect and then from here to here I'm going to hold and I'm just going to connect and just keep going. Same thing in the beginning, I don't know the value of Q previous, so I'm just going to have 0 or 1. So that is my D flip-flop. Now, what is a state table? A state table basically has the present state and my input, and here going to give me the next state. So in a default flop or a D-latch, we don't care what the present state is. We're just going to copy the value of D, right? So D has, D is either 0 or 1. Present state is either 0 or 1. But my next state is just going to copy whatever the value of D is. So here, my next state is just going to be 0. My next state is just going to be the same value of D, which is 1. And here, next state is 0. Here, next state is 1. So this is my state table. Now, an excitation table is basically the exact same thing, except that I'm bringing this next state into um, up here. So my table is just going to look like present state, next state. And then whatever here is going to be my D. So present state is either 0 or 1. My next state is either 0 or 1, right? So I'm just going to look here. When present state is 0, next state is 0. Present state is 0, next state is 0. D is 0, right? So present state is 0, next state is 1, what is D? We look here, present state is 0, next state is 1, the value of D is just 1, right? When present state is 1, next state is 0, so we look here, this is present state is 1, next state is 0, we look up here, D is 0. Now, present state is 1, next state is 1, present state is 1, next state is 1. We look up here, and D is 1. So this is my excitation table. Basically, the same thing as state table, except we swap next state up here and D down here. And that is all you need to know for D flip-flop and D latch. Hopefully that helps.